We are here in Nepal doing this uh, five day trekking to Poon Hill and we have been crossing Bruce and Sharon over the way. Uh, we started talking and we got interested uh, to know a little bit more about them. So actually the first question is where are you guys from? We're from Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, okay. This is my wife of, of 38 years. Oh, wow. Awesome. And yeah. you guys have kids? We have three children and one grandchild. And, and uh, what brought you to Nepal? Well, I think the, the fact that we live in Vancouver, and we like to ski, and we like the outdoors, we like the mountains. And Cheryl has just retired from school teaching two years ago. And we thought that before we get too old, like we're in our mid-60s, we thought we would. Uh, we would thought we would uh, take on the challenge and see if we're still up for it. And uh, we're really, really enjoying it. And you're doing very well, <laughs> better than us. <laughs> we are never going to climb Everest. <laughs> Boone Hill's a good, uh, a good start for us. I think when you finish Boone Hill, you feel like you want a new challenge. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. the Annapurna Circuit. Yes. Yes. So bit by bit. This challenge, next challenge, next challenge, yeah. Everest. In your mid 70s, you're going to be going to Everest. <laughs> yeah. I'm fairly certain. We went to and uh, lived in uh, Australia for a year when Cheryl was teaching there. And every weekend we would go out into the hinterland and do some hikes, some serious hikes. And so the, the bug was started then, and we just nurtured them all. Okay, so, so you guys enjoy doing hiking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in, uh, last year in Italy, in the Cinque Terre, and so we thought we would just take the low road along by the ocean, but it was all washed out. So we had to go up oh. and over and over. So just very much like the, the steps we've just overcome now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. You know, you, you're out in the fresh air and meeting people and enjoying the scenery. It's just, I wouldn't be anywhere else right now. You know? yeah, it's awesome to hear. You know, the week in Maui, not for us. <laughs> well, maybe later. <laughs> maybe recover in uh, somewhere. <laughs> So in a resort somewhere, huh? Resort somewhere <laughs> not yeah. a resort, but maybe a hotel with a pool. <laughs> cool. uh, maybe a hot shower. Yeah, maybe a hot shower. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're looking for a massage when we go massage. back to Fukara. <laughs> yeah. okay, so actually what inspired us is to see you in your mid-60s taking a challenge like this. I will tell you, for me, it has been very hard because I'm out of shape. Yeah. And then we see you guys and I'm like, wow, amazing. <laughs> So what can you tell to people that will watch this and are in the same age and maybe some people are just like letting the age come? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the Don't message that you can give to them? Yeah. Keep your body moving and stay active uh, because staying physically active helps your, your mental activity as well. This is what our three children tell us anyway. <laughs> and it's, I think it's true. I do think it's true. Just keep your body active and moving. Don't overdo it because then you can injure yourself. But to, to be perfectly honest yeah. with you, we didn't get into shape to come for this. <laughs> <laughs> we could have spent a lot more time climbing and working but out still, in the gym maybe. Take it slowly though, still. Don't let that stop you. I think that's what we should say, is don't let that stop you. Just take it slowly. Walk slowly. You know, pace, take, yourself. pace yourself. Take a day off. You know, whatever. Yeah. Whatever it takes to if do you it. take one day more, that's yeah, then that's fine. Yeah, exactly. In fact, that might even be nicer. It might even be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you take yeah. a look at yeah, places and, and yeah. I, I actually come to shoot. <laughs> yeah, you take pictures. Lots yeah, of pictures. I come to shoot. So yeah. I'm not a I'm not a professional photographer, but I do like to. Practice my we go back to Canada. We show our friends the pictures. Yes, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Wow, I want to go down. Yeah. <laughs> but it, 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 this is not for everyone, right? Yeah. Uh, a hike no, like it's this. Not for yeah. That's yeah. And, and inside uh, your heart, why hiking? Why 
Why go to the mountain? It's a, it's a good way to test your, your personal challenge. You know, it's hard work and it's rewarding and the scenery is always changing and going through little villages and seeing the way other people live is just... Uh, gives another perspective to our lives back at home. Mm -hmm. We live in the city. We live in the city. Yeah, well, we live privileged lives, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. You come up here and you see how little you can get by with. So yeah. it's, it's inspiring. Yeah. The air is All right. clean, the bowl of fresh. Every little people are very nice. And this is our third interview today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for sharing okay. the story. Now, what is your name? It's going to be a pleasure. My name is Renata. Renata. He's Daniel, we are brother Daniel. and sister. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. That's Enjoy my, uh, the trekking. We're yeah, we're, we're going to be back together, together for a long time, yeah, for maybe a few days. Yeah. <laughs>